Queen Mother Elizabeth lived for over a century. Her lifetime witnessed the installment of electricity into homes, the First and Second World Wars, the invention of the television and the internet. She was born Elizabeth Angela Marguerite Bowes Lyon on August 4th, 1900. She was the ninth child and fourth daughter of Lady and Lord Glamis, 13th Earl of Strathmore and Kinghorn. Elizabeth bloomed into a beautiful and affable young woman, capturing the hearts of many young men, including Prince Albert, the king's second son and the second in line to the throne. He was determined to marry her. Even Albert's father, King George V, famously said, you'll be a lucky fellow if she accepts you. Eventually, she married Prince Albert in 1923, becoming the Duchess of York. And she happily took up her duties as a wife, mother, and duchess in stride. Albert was terribly shy and suffered from a stutter, relying heavily on Elizabeth, who made public appearances on his behalf, and also encouraged him to get a speech coach, a move that changed his political career forever. Together, they had two daughters, Elizabeth and Margaret. And then, in 1936, Prince Albert's father, King George V, died. And Prince Albert's older brother, King Edward VIII, took the throne, but he wanted to marry an American commoner named Wallace Simpson, who was going on her second divorce. And everyone was like, absolutely not. So Edward abdicated the throne to his brother Albert on May 12th, 1937, after a reign of only 326 days. But with Elizabeth by his side, he rose to the occasion. And so too did she. This was no more evident than her firm position during World War II, when England came under siege from German aircrafts. On September 13, 1940, Germans bombed Buckingham Palace while the royal family was at home. Officials urged the Queen and her daughters to escape to North America until the war was over. But the Queen refused, saying, The children will not leave unless I do. I shall not leave unless their father does. And the King will not leave the country in any circumstances whatsoever. She took her role in life seriously, which made her an exceptional leader and earned her one of the highest public approval ratings the royal family has ever seen. Her tenure went off without scandal or controversy. She was good-natured, one of the first of the royal family to actually smile in pictures. And she was also poised and proper and maternal, everything the public thought a queen ought to be. But her loyalty to royalty meant she often prioritized peace and tradition over progress. She was known to have harbored elitist and colonialist ideology. In private, she could be mocking, offensive, and even cruel. And while we may not like that side of her, we can admire her for her staunch belief in duty and sacrifice. And even in her later years, she refused to overshadow her daughter partially out of love and partially out of respect for the throne that Elizabeth II would one day inherit. Her self-appointed nickname, Queen Mother, says it all. Who else would sacrifice everything for the love of her nation and family?